tomato and today I'd like to introduce you to Sophie, a really fun little bag to put together. Sophie is designed by Renee, who happens to be Jessica's mom, so that makes it extra special for me to be here and help you with this tutorial. Sophie is a great bag for your cell phone and just a few extras, so it's quick to grab and go. So let's grab your tools, supplies, fabric, and let's get sewing. First begin by gathering your supplies. You'll need a main fabric and then hardware consisting of two chain strap connectors, one slider buckle, and one small magnetic snap. You'll also want to have a few tools and notions on hand. Sulky 40 weight polydeco thread is great for sewing, it's nice and strong. Then have Clover Wonder Clips, chalk or removable pen, a stiletto, basting tape, and you might want to have a Teflon foot and a zipper or narrow foot handy. Follow your pattern for cutting all the bases you'll need. You'll need one main panel, one flat panel, card pockets one and two, one attached strap piece, two adjustable strap pieces, and one snap facing. You may find it helpful to label the wrong side of each piece for quick identification. For shaping two corners on the main panel and flap facing, use a standard thread spool to trace around for the curve. Use a smaller spool to trace four curved corners on the snap facing. Then use the card pocket one pattern piece to trace a curve at the top of card pocket number two. You'll also need to shape a scooped edge in the main panel's second short end. Mark a dot at the center, the distance from the edge is noted in your pattern, and then draw a gentle curve from the dot up to each corner. Now trim away the excess fabric following the curved lines on your pieces. One last step before we're ready to begin construction, installing the magnetic snap. The female half of the snap will be inserted into the scooped end on the right side of the main panel. Remember to glue the snap facing to the main panel wrong sides together, covering the prongs. One option is to top stitch an eighth inch from the edge of the snap facing. Set your stitch length to about 3.0 to a 3.5 millimeter length. Be sure to use a zipper or narrow foot so the foot doesn't hit the snap. Also stitch carefully as you go near the prongs. Okay, let's install the male half of the snap to the right side of the flap facing. Place the flap facing on the main panel, wrong sides together, aligning the rounded corners and the sides. Hold the layers together with sewing clips or basting tape. Top stitch following the flap facing edges with an eighth inch allowance. And let's top stitch the curved edges of the card pockets while we're at the machine. Position card pocket number one, centered below the straight flap edge. Use a bit of basting tape to hold that little end of the pocket in place. Top stitch an eighth inch from the bottom edge of the short end of that little pocket. You may find the Teflon foot helps your fabric move smoothly without distorting the pocket piece. 
Position card pocket number two directly over pocket one, nesting the indented edge and aligning the sides. Again, use a bit of basting tape to hold the pocket securely in place. Top stitch an eighth inch from the sides and the bottom edges of the layered pockets. With wrong sides together, fold the bottom edge of the main panel up, aligning the sides. Use a few sewing clips to hold them in place. Top stitch an eighth inch from the sides, removing the clips as you sew. Now we're going to work on the straps for Sophie. Join the two adjustable strap pieces by placing the short ends right sides together, perpendicular to each other, and overlapping the ends. Sew a diagonal seam from corner to corner. Trim the excess seam allowance to about a quarter inch wide. Then press the seam open with your fingers now top stitch along each side of the seam with an eighth inch allowance. With wrong sides together, fold both the attached strap and then the adjustable strap pieces in half lengthwise, keeping the raw edges even. Then hold the layers together with sewing clips. Top stitch an eighth inch from each long side of both straps. Center the attached strap just down from the flap edge, positioning the strap fold up towards the flap. Sew the strap in place by stitching over the top stitching. Thread each strap end through a chain strap connector. Then fold the ends to the underside of the strap. Now top stitch the strap ends in place. All right. We're ready for the adjustable strap. Thread one end of the adjustable strap over the center bar of the slider buckle. Now fold under the end onto itself. Top stitch across the end to secure it in place. Now thread the opposite strap end without the buckle through a chain strap connector. Next thread the end over the center bar of the buckle and bring the end through the remaining connector. Fold the three quarter inch end to the underside. Top stitch the strap end in place. Check out the tassel tutorials on our YouTube channel and dress up your Sophie with a beautiful tassel. 
right, look at that. Your Sophie is finished. I can't wait to see photos of your Sophie that you've made up. So please do share on hashtag Sally Tomato and hashtag Sophie so all of us at Sally Tomato can see what you've made. I'd like to give Renee a great shout out and a thank you for her delightful pattern. It's such an easy one to put together, which I'm sure you'll agree. So I can't wait to see you for the next tutorial. Thanks for sewing with me.